Hi everyone, it's Eric Goins from Flywheel Studio and also Nodalo here. I have a fun, quick tutorial today on how to kind of make a book um, and how to skip within your collections to any point in a collection as long as it's numbered. So I used a book for this example because we have chapters and it allows you to iterate and go through a collection uh, one by one. And then it also will show you how to skip to different parts of a collection, let users go forward or backwards really easily. Um, this, the impetus for this is a question in the forum. So jump to a specific list ID slash index. Um, this user was saying they had a list of queries, uh, custom list of queries, a table, and they have chapters, they have a title, long text. Um, but it could be tedious if there's hundreds of chapters, you don't want to do that. So how can they scroll through that? What I did here is I have a book. Every, it has a chapter and some text. And what we can do is we can actually just go through this. And um, it's a bit slow because, um, you know, I'm in Asia right now. So the, the time uh, lag between here and the Adala servers is a bit long. But you can see that we're just hopping through chapter three. There's only four chapters here, so we can go through those um, and iterate one by one. But as you can imagine, that is a bit slow. So we can also just click on the chapter and go to any number we want. Um, so we can go to chapter one. You see this um, that you can't go back after chapter one. I set that up. Um, we can hop ahead and just go to chapter four. You'd have your own chapters, names in here, and um, the numbers, but this is super easy to do in Adalo. It's mostly how your data is set up. So let's look at this. If we first, let's, we always look at our collections and database first. So we have a chapter, okay, it has a title, a number, uh, which is your index, um, and you will need this to go, you know, up or down. If you don't care about just going, you know, iterating through one by one, then you could get rid of this because you you kind of could do this um, with just the, ch the chapter name. Um, but you can't move through the records without some kind of index and then the chapter text. And what we're doing here is we're actually just updating the current logged in user and their chapter number. When they sign in or log in, they would just start at chapter one and we have them go through this here you don't have to do that but that does mean that every time they come back to this that they will be on the chapter they were at at last and what we're doing is each of our buttons here is updating that number for those users so if they go down then we just remove one chapter number if they're going up we will add one chapter number and then if they click on the chapter number here uh, that will take them to this modal, which is a list of all of the chapters. If they choose a chapter or when they choose a chapter, it will just update them with that current chapter's number shown here and take them back to the home screen with the chapter. I hope that's a very easy, fast tutorial for you, and I hope you find some good uses for it. I personally am going to be using this in my exercise app that we're building. Um, that way people can just iterate through the individual exercises. They can just click next and it will take them to the next exercise automatically in their workout. Um, and again, that's only possible if you've added the numbers. So you'll need to have them at least, you know, really like one, two, three, four, and you just need to make sure you have that at the right level. So I hope that's helpful. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section.